What is up guys, it's Lucas, and I am here to help you build more healthy relationships in your life. Um, make sure if you have not yet subscribed, push the subscribe button. Uh, if you enjoyed the video today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. Um, today I'm gonna talk about some of the signs that you're in a healthy relationship. So we've been talking about ways to move into healthy relationships. Well, now I'm gonna give you a few signs that you are in a healthy relationship. Um, the biggest sign that you can that you can have if you're in a healthy relationship is trust. You know, um, as soon as someone is having to question the other person about where were you last night or where did you spend that money or were you telling me the truth about this, as soon as there's issues of trust, you already know that you're walking in the wrong direction. Okay, trust should be given pretty freely. Um, most trust is given through open communication. Okay, that's number two. If you have a healthy relationship, communication's easy. It feels natural. You don't feel like you have to force things. You don't feel like you have to hide things from them. Things are just happening at a regular pace, and that's good, right? Because we're going through honesty. Um, number three that I'm gonna give out today um, is having a sense of independence. You know, I feel like so often in my past relationships, um, and even in some of my friendships I still have, um, there's a lot of codependency. You know, we rely on that person to help us feel better. We rely on that person to help us get through a hard time. We rely on that person to be there at this time, in this situation, and this and that, and dee, 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 and all this wrapped up codependent <laughs> energy, um, which ultimately is just gonna lead to copying each other. One person has a bad day, then you're having a bad day because they're having a bad day. And that's and that's also something I've struggled with in past relationships is um, someone gets home from work and I've been this person and I've been the person watching the other person do this. So I'm guilty on both sides. Um, coming home and being in a bad mood, not being in a good place because work went bad or you had a bad test at school or your friend yelled at you and then, it, and then going and going and going into the spiraling poor me until your partner joins you. And that's, and again, that's not what relationships are for. They should be able to be there for you and support you and love you and give you compassion without having to join you, right? There's, you don't have to join someone to give compassion and to be where with them. Um, where are we in four? We're on four. Number four is there is mutual respect between the two people. Now, let's talk about this in friendships first. So let's talk about beliefs. So say you're a Catholic, okay? You're really into Catholicism. It's like your thing you've been doing a whole life. And your friend is, into, is a complete agnostic and doesn't really know. They believe in God, but they don't know what about it and blah, blah. Having respect for their beliefs and honoring who it is they are without arguing or without having to try to make yours seem better, um, that's how you build healthy relationships. You respect who they are. You respect their beliefs. You support their beliefs. And when they're talking about something that maybe it's not connected directly with you, that's okay, because this is about them. This goes back to our video on listening, right? Listening and being present with them without having to change something or be, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, number five, things go wrong sometimes. Okay, no matter who you are and what kind of relationship you have, at some point there's gonna be a misunderstanding. <laughs> right um and the one of the most important things and again i keep rewinding back to my past relationships um is taking responsibility for what it is you did okay you come home one day you're in a bad mood you end up accidentally kind of yelling at your partner um and then later instead of taking responsibility you decide well i was having a really bad day at work and blah blah, blah and there's all these excuses and blame as to why you did it that's okay it doesn't matter why you did it okay take responsibility for what it is you did and be accountable for that. Um, having to make it up to someone, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, sometimes that's just kind of a natural thing and we're, when we give a bad energy, we wanna give positive energy back. So I encourage you to make it up to them, but it's not required. Um, and I would imagine the, we'll do the sixth and final thing now, um, is loyalty. Someone who stands by you, someone who, you're out with friends, someone starts poking at you, making you feel bad, your partner should stand up for you. That That is their job, like to stand up for you when things are not going the, the correct way, right? Stand up for the people you love um, because everyone needs a supporting arm or leg or ear, whatever. 
Um, and so yeah, th those are my steps today, guys, for building healthy relationships. Um, if any of those things are out of alignment with you right now in one of your relationships, look into it. Maybe it's something you can adjust. You know, um, I there's a lot of gray area in a lot of what I'm talking about. Um, just because relationships are live and they're in the moment and you never know what's going to happen and it's all kind of like right there in the present. You have to respond at the moment. Um, and so, you know, I'm not telling you to take any of my advice 100% of the time. Go with it no matter what. You know, be intuitive to what's happening right now with you and your relationship. Is it something you, that is fixable? Is it something that you can bring up? Because I talked about walking away from relationships that are in alignment with you. Well, if you've been in a relationship with someone for years, like case example, I've been in a relationship with my mom for 31 years. And every handful of years up to this far in our lives, um, we've had a few fallouts. And it's kind of one of those things where there are things about her I do not appreciate. There are things about me she does not appreciate. And that's okay, because we're just different people and we move differently. We're both growing and evolving every single day. Um, you have to ask yourself, is this fixable? Am I capable of working on this fix? Is the person I'm in this relationship with capable of working on this fix? Is it worth it to us in the end to go through this? Well, it's my mother, right? I want a relationship with her. I want to be close to her. And so I'm having to adjust a little bit of what it is I bring to the table. Just because you believe that cats should be allowed to marry dogs and blah, 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 whatever your crazy is, that doesn't mean you have to talk about it around them. Just because you believe that the person in your religious group is the newfound Jesus Christ and you're all going to move into a state of oneness and teleport to a different dimension, that's fine. <laughs> that's totally fine that you believe that. But it doesn't mean you have to bring it up, right? It's kind of like that rule about dinner with family and friends. Don't bring up religion, politics. Like There's just certain things that you don't bring up because there's no need to. There's no need to. There are people in your life that you connect that way with. And there's other people connect a different way with, you know, and it's, from what I'm, I'm kind of gathering with relationships, um, we connect to different people in different ways. You know, we have our friend who's really spiritual and they have the same spiritual beliefs as us. We have our friend who is very into their body and working out and eating a certain way like us. We have our friend who likes to go out and have a good time, party, have a few drinks like us. But, you know, not all of these people can be in the room at the same time because we're different every single day. You know, for me, I like to go out and have a few drinks on the weekend, but I don't go and drink during the week. And so when I hang out with friends I know drink during the week, I just don't go see them during the week because I don't want to drink and I want to be the person in the room that's not drinking in a room of 10 people. Like, you know, that would be, it would, just, it would feel weird, like going to a bar and not buying anything and just hanging out. Like, that's, it's just, it's weird. <laughs> and so anyway, here we are guys, building healthy relationships. Click subscribe, click like, share with your friends. And my name is Lucas. Thank you guys so much for um, being open and receptive to this new channel, Our 60 Journey. God bless. I send you off with goodwill.